Football Report. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this on YouTube, welcome, subscribe to the channel, Facebook Live. It is a Friday, fry yay. I am James Yoder, the face of Michigan football media. What a week it's been for Michigan football. And with that, I put out the word on Twitter early in the week, Monday, and said, hey, what rumors are you guys hearing? I am here to answer your questions. And with that, I got a ton of questions, kind of grouped them up around the top topics. We are going to start with one Daxton Hill, taking your questions from Twitter. These were sent to me through DMs, sent to me through replies to my tweet on this. If you do not follow me, by the way, go ahead and follow me at James T. Yoder. Here's the first one from my man, Thomas Judge, one of uh, the great Twitter users. I like Thomas, thank you for following. Thank you for the question. How the hell did we lose Dax Hill? This is gonna be a very Dax Hill focused segment to start off this show. So let's talk about Dax Hill. What exactly happened? Been committed to Michigan, was very active on Twitter, pro Michigan. How can I stop? the afternoon of the Michigan-Ohio State game. Actually, look back, the, the flurry of tweets uh, uh, Dax Hill put out there, or likes and all that stuff, kind of stopped in the third quarter of the Michigan-Ohio State game. And went kind of radio silent the last two or three weeks. Nick Saban made him a priority. He went in home on Thursday, the day after a Michigan contingent of coaches left his house on Wednesday and convinced him that he was the man to, uh, to get him into the pros. Alabama was the program to get him into the NFL. Here's what he tweeted out. He, you saw just a moment ago, it's the old respect my decision, which actually I don't like these recruits keep doing it because uh, I actually respected your decision. The one you made when you committed to Michigan, this one I don't respect at all. Uh, but nevertheless, I'd like to thank University of Michigan, blah, blah, blah. With that, it's a tough decision for myself, my family. We're gonna decommit to Michigan and flip my commitment to the University of Alabama, hashtag roll tired roll with the elephant. So that is the the, the commitment, to the flip he made to Alabama this past weekend. Daxon Hill, Michigan's top recruit for the 2019 class. And with that, I kind of put it out there early in the week. You saw on Wednesday, this thing is not over. So let's kind of get into this. Brian Rutkowski, he's got the word. I just heard a rumor at the office that Dax Hill commitment to Alabama is not necessarily written in stone basically is what had happened with Aubrey Solomon. So let's kind of rewind that, unpack it. Aubrey Solomon, remember, committed to Michigan as a junior, then decommitted. A lot of rumors out there, Alabama and Georgia for the five-star defensive tackle ended up at Michigan. I don't know if, uh, you know, some people are, just want to throw same basic thing, all this different stuff. A lot of uh, chatter out there about uh, SEC bag men getting involved when you when you get people to flip from a Michigan uh, or, you know, a school like Notre Dame to go to an SEC school. So, Brian, good question. <laughs> As we told you on Wednesday, this thing is fluid. Now, we're filming the show Wednesday late in the day, so if something happened with Dax Hill in the meantime, don't blame me. I'm trying to future tell to give you guys as much information as possible. But as of Wednesday late afternoon, Dax Hill back to Michigan is a potential. So, Brian's kind of onto something. Sounds like you've got some insiders at your office. So, keep an eye out for what's going on. Dax and Hill, did he kind of get excited with Alabama going to the playoff for the fifth straight year, national title, you know, Tua was potentially going to win the Heisman when he was getting ready to flip, and you know, was he regretting that decision? Now maybe flip back to Michigan. So we will know potentially in a week on Wednesday for signing day, he could just sign with Michigan, not even have a big deal of it, but that is the word for Dax and Hill. Thanks for the question, Brian. You have a uh, future teller, Michigan Football Insider in your office, clearly, because he is spot on. Things are heating up with Daxton Hill, maybe coming back to Michigan. All right, want to hook you guys up with a Michigan football jersey maze. Michigan football jersey blue, the Harbaugh number four, or the Michigan football long sleeve black and maize and blue Jordan shirt that I absolutely love. I've given it to everyone on my, who buys me Christmas presents, which aren't too many people, to get me this shirt for Christmas. All you gotta do is get signed up with BetDSI before the holidays are over. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code, Go blue and go down. You know, you're watching here on YouTube, the new Michigan Football Report YouTube channel. I am going to put the link, chatsports.com slash bet, right below at the top, towards the top of the description, and my Twitter account. So go ahead and sign up, click the link, type that promo code go blue, deposit 120% deposit bonus. So you put in 50 bucks, you get an extra 60. You put in 100, you get 120. If you put in 500 bucks, folks, you like betting on sports, 600 bucks free in your account. Plus, we're going to ship you directly from the Chat Sports Studio HQ. We just got a boatload of jerseys dropped from us. Maze number four, Maze number one, blue number four, or the Jordan Maze and Blue Black M shirt. 
from us to you this holiday season, chatsports.com slash bet. Sign up and deposit using promo code GOBLUE and DM me on Twitter to be one of the many who will be hooked up from Chat Sports and BetDSI this holiday season. It's the least we can do for you making us the number one most watched Michigan football show on this planet Earth. Another question coming up from my man Darren Harvey. You can follow him on Twitter at HarveyDarren26. The Michigan coaches were blindsided by Dax Hill. That's what he's hearing out there. That's the word in the street where Darren spends his time on the internet, the rumors he's hearing. And pretty spot on there, Darren. That's kind of what happened. Michigan was in home with Hill on Wednesday. Last Wednesday, December 5th, Nick Saban and his snake oil and his uh, his potential bag man, the people are talking. That's not me saying it. That's people saying that. Uh, got in there and got in Dax Hill's ear. Got him to flip a couple days later over the weekend on December 8th. And as such, Michigan is without a five-star safety for now. But, but, commit to Michigan once. Flip to Alabama. There are reports out there that when Wednesday signing day comes around, that maybe he just decides, I'm going to sign with Michigan, not make a big deal of it, and uh, and put an end to the uh, the Alabama uh, commitment. He was rumored, to, you know, the thought that he's been telling people, his parents have told people, that they weren't going to sign until February, which didn't make a lot of sense to me since he's been committed now to two schools. But could Michigan pull the ultimate reflip? We will find out possibly in one week from now. So thanks for the question there. Another Daxton Hill commitment uh, question. Did you see the Dax Hill commitments coming? I didn't see it, but I actually got to give a shout out. I had this tweet up earlier. I was going to uh, I was going to uh, pull it up. Um, I'm going to find the guy who sent me because I want to give him a shout out. I am emailing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm internetting on uh, while I'm live on air here. My man here just found the tweet. Anthony Rice Fitness. He gave me the word on this like a week and a half ago at ANT Rice 21 on Twitter. He basically said, yo, man, hearing that uh, that Dax Hill to Alabama is a real thing, have you heard anything? And I kind of shrugged it off. I, I just said, like, no, man, I think he's still coming. So caught me by surprise, caught the Michigan coaches by surprise. The word is out there that they found out, just like uh, you know, lowly Michigan football fans like you and I are, is that they found out through Twitter you know, over the weekend when Dax Hill put out his whole respect my decision. So respect my wishes, Dax Hill. Flip back to the good guys. You're going to be looking a lot better in the Michigan maize and blue with winged helmet than that ugly, boring uh, crimson tie jersey they're wearing down there in Alabama. So Dax Hill, come back, caught me off guard completely, caught the Michigan football uh, community off guard. And I actually think I have never seen Michigan fans as a whole this up in arms and devastated over a, uh, a recruiting loss or a flip commitment. Uh, in a long time. This is certainly one for the uh, the ages. So Molly at M-A-L-I underscore 527 says, I usually see him saying, I usually don't care if kids decommit, but Dax Hill just felt like a kick in the stomach. Look, I agree with you there. Like I saw this over the weekend. And I, I was a loss for words. I had heard nothing about it from my sources. I had heard nothing about it from you know, any sources that, you know, people send me a lot of stuff on Twitter and stuff. They say, hey, did you hear about this? <laughs> this guy's saying this. And I'll check out what other people are writing. Nobody had this story except for Anthony Wright Fitness at Ant, Wright, Ant Rice 21. Uh, shout out to him. But this really caught everybody to a surprise. And it was a kick to the stomach, a kick to the gut. I think, by the way, that it could have some ramifications. Michigan could lose out on Zach Harrison because he feels, hey, I'm the only big dog coming to the table here for Michigan. We also, we already saw Chris Hinton's uh, drop from a five to four star. Clearly uh, not as good anymore, I guess. But uh, it could have a big impact on uh, on Zach Harrison. So if Dax Hill comes back in the fold, maybe that helps Zach Harrison. Good players want to play with other good players. All right. I'm going to put an anonymous tweeter here because this guy said he didn't want his name put behind this. But heard from, I'm guessing, a source that Dax Hill was paid over $100,000 to commit to Alabama. Um, wow. I mean, that's... Uh, seems like a good deal to me actually if you get a, a, a number 10 player in the country potential you know two two-time all-american sec player of the year whatever it is he has any accolades it's kind of like uh it's kind of like venture capitalists you buy 15 players a year four of them to become all conference players two become all americans uh you're getting your money's worth but i'm actually going to call this one fake news um i've never been one that has bought into the alabama georgia ohio state usc pays all their players because in this day and age, all it takes is one kid to record one phone call or screen record a text message, and 
it's over. It's all over for everybody. Uh, we see guys in basketball, you know, going to jail because of uh, paying players, etc. So I don't think it happens widespread. Don't believe that at all. But hey, thanks for the question. Certainly appreciate it. Appreciate it. Want to find out from you guys though. What do you think? Do you believe the uh, the uh, the softies and the snowflakes and the message boards that say um, you know they, they want to spread this rumor that Michigan's at this big disadvantage that they can't recruit the biggest players because. Harbaugh doesn't play this game, and the SEC bag man got to him. I, for one, don't believe it. I think it happened here and there, but widespread that Alabama gets all of their players because they just pay for all of them is ridiculous. If you're an NFL, if you're a top way to recruit, why would you not want to go to Alabama? You're going to be in the playoff every single year. You're going to have the opportunity to be in the national stage, NFL scouts, learn from the best coach. I mean, I don't understand why that's so hard for people to understand. If anybody needs to pay players, it's Michigan at this point. They need to pay players to get as good as Alabama. Alabama does not need to pay anybody. Maybe they did 10 years ago when Nick Saban was getting started here and there. I don't believe they're paying players widespread. Though when they get there, I'm sure they hook them up once they're on campus. But you never know. Type dollar sign if you think it's yes. They're paying players straight cash, homie. Bags of cash shoveled into uh, the backseat of people's cars or in their trunks. Or an N for no if you're a reasonable person say, yeah, one disgruntled kid would ruin it for everybody. Couldn't be happening. All right, you are watching this on Facebook Live, but also on the brand new Michigan Football Report face our YouTube channel. We've got 500 or so subscribers. We're going to get to 1,000 by the end of the month, uh, and we'll start putting all of our programming on this YouTube channel. This is exclusive YouTube Michigan Football Report only content. We're not going to put it on the main chat sports channel, only on Facebook Live and here on the Michigan Football Report YouTube channel. So go below. Stop right now. I'm going to wait. Hit that subscribe right below the video. Hit subscribe. You will get alerted every time we have a new video. Certainly appreciate you guys following us, being along for this uh, ride with the new Michigan Football Report YouTube channel. Shane Majewski says, hey, even if that's true, and this is kind of you know, going back to the uh, the rumors, he was piggybacking from some of those other responses about Dax Hill getting paid. Even if that's true, Dax Hill took money. Can't blame us kid for going to school that wins titles often, saying kids to the NFL, and whenever someone says they're academically focused like Dax Hill and his parents said back in September, you know, you know, don't buy it. Titles and winning and obviously NFL is more important than academics and that, that, that outweighs everything. So I'm, I'm with Shane here. I'm giving this one a four Harbaugh heads. Um, I agree with you. Look, if you truly are deciding between Alabama and Michigan, if you don't have any ties to Michigan, if Michigan has the season they had, which is fine season, top 10 season, but if Alabama wants to start you and they say you're going to be, a, you know, they want to recruit you, say you are in a position to be a starter here, uh, maybe by your second year and you're going to make an impact uh, in your first year and you're going to go to the NFL after your third year, how could you turn that down? So I don't think it's this bag of money left and right, although you never put anything back from these SEC schools, we all know about the bagman, but that is the latest on Daxton Hill. All right, let's get into some rumors on Zach Harrison, Michigan's, I guess with along with Daxon Hills, the you know, biggest recruit left on the board, a top 10 player out of Columbus, Ohio, near Columbus, Ohio, with our Michigan football fan rumors. Going to have a, this next segment coming up, all Zach Harrison all the time. So let's get it going. Toss those bad boys on the screen. Zach Harrison leaning OSU, an Ohio State writer, an unnamed Ohio State writer, didn't source this one, said that something about him leaning towards them. This is from 69, not sure what that number is about, at NBA is trash cause KD. You know, who could argue with that? Uh, you know, j jumping teams, that uh, that cupcake Kevin Durant. I agree with you there, Mr. 69. But look, uh, all the Ohio State writers, uh, writers agree with me. I told you uh, for almost two months now, about two months, he verbally committed October 14th, the day after the Wisconsin game, told Michigan coaches, told Michigan players, told Michigan recruits, he was coming to Michigan. He didn't want to announce it till the end of his season. But as you've seen over the last few days, he was shook after that loss. He was embarrassed. He, he was going to announce to Michigan and hopefully be rubbing it in people's face. Yeah, we beat you this year and we're going to keep beating you because I'm going to Michigan next year, Ohio State. And Michigan gets their ass kicked by, by Ohio State and Zach Harrison's having second thoughts. So I don't know where he's going at this point. Again, I was 99% Harrison to Michigan four, five, six weeks ago. Now I, I guess I'm 50-50. I don't know where to go. The tea leaves seem to be trending to Ohio State, but I think Zach Harrison's heart is, uh, is wants to be a Michigan Wolverine. So, uh, so we'll see what happens. He will tweet that out on December 19th. And if you want to get hooked up around December 19th or whenever we can get this bad, these bad boys to this holiday season, 
Sign up and make your sports betting with BetDSI. Chatsports.com slash bet will drop you on our page with BetDSI where you can sign up, use the promo code GOBLUE, and then a deposit, make your first deposit. You will then DM me on Twitter so I can get you one of these Michigan football maze jerseys, the number one, tucked behind the number four there, the blue number four, or the awesome brand new release Jordan Black M maze and blue baseball style shirt. Additionally, whatever money you deposit, you'll give you a hundred, you get 120% bonus cash on top of that. So imagine you put in 50, you get a free 60. You put in 100, you get another 100 bonus on that, plus the jersey or the uh, the baseball, amazing blue, black and baseball shirt. So imagine the deal I'm giving you. It's the holiday hookup from Uncle Jimmy, Jimmy Claus, Mr. James Yoder himself. Michigan football jersey number four, Mays Michigan football jersey number one, or the black and maize and blue baseball jersey, the holiday hookup, Bet DSI Chat Sports. If you if you're signed up with uh, Bet DSI, tell a friend about it. If you uh, don't want one of these jerseys, but you want to give it somebody, re-gift it. I'll gift it to you. You gift it to somebody else. It'll be delivered in any size that you want, uh, obviously, as long as those sizes are in stock. So get hooked up with Bet DSI, and you will not regret it. Keep it going on Zach Harrison Rumors. These are from fans. These are from you, the audience of the Michigan Football Report. Send to me on Twitter, though. If you want to send them on Facebook, if you want to comment on YouTube, I will start doing these once a week as long as the awesome questions. got like 25 questions from the fans a couple days ago to answer on this show. So do you think we land Zach Harrison? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't tell you what's going to happen with this thing. I'm just saying it's it's too hard. I had people are talking like. I rarely go out on a limb and give something four Harbaugh heads unless I'm absolutely certain, which I was, that Zach Harrison gave his word to Michigan that he was coming there. But this is still a 17-year-old kid, senior in high school, a lot of friends that are Michigan uh, haters and Ohio State football fans. And so with that, you know, he's got a little embarrassed. He got shook. He's like, holy crap, with this awesome Michigan number one defense, they still get smoked by Ohio State. Oh, my mom doesn't like Urban Meyer, you know, how we handle that whole Zach Smith thing. Okay, cool. Uh, now Urban Meyer is gone, so that problem's out of there. So mom wants me to go back to Ohio State. His family, his friends, everybody's for Ohio State. He is still has a place in his heart, I believe, for Michigan. So it is just going to come down Wednesday, December 19th, whatever Zach Harrison rolls out of bed and wants to spend the next three or four years uh, of his life at. And if it's Michigan, if he wants to face the haters and the losers in Columbus, he will sign on the dotted line with Jim Harbaugh, head up north, and start a new tradition of finally beating the Buckeyes. Uh, that really hasn't happened much over the last 15, 16, 17 years. All right, you're watching on the Chat Sports YouTube channel, the apologies, the Michigan Football Report YouTube channel, Michigan Football by Chat Sports on Facebook. And I want to get you subscribed to this channel because I want to start putting all of our programming on this channel exclusively. So subscribe now on YouTube. It's right below your video. There's a little subscribe button. Just press the button. And all you got to do, every time you come to YouTube, you'll get a notification when we've got new episodes, how you can watch them. It'll be right there in your feed. The best way to get the number one Michigan football show on this planet Earth direct to you every time you are on YouTube.com. The YouTube app, take us with you. Subscribe now. Or if you're watching on Facebook, there's the URL, chatsports.com slash Michigan TV. Head there, press subscribe. You will have, you'll be the most knowledgeable Michigan fan you know if you watch the show. That I can tell you. Let's keep it going with Zach Harrison rumors. Any idea if we get Zach Harrison, he's trending towards Ohio. This is coming from Cam Clark at Cam Clark 25. Again, I'm just like, I don't want to say, I, 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 he's shook about the Ohio State uh, ass beating of Michigan. I'm shook because I was so confident about this. I was the only guy to give it four Harbaugh heads, put my name on it. I'm going to eat a little crow, but I don't think it's because my information was wrong. I think it's because, you know, the Michigan defense and, and Jim Harbaugh's recruiting acumen didn't necessarily live up uh, to their potential. And, and that, uh, that, you know, we had a little you know, flip up where Urban Meyer is not there. So the whole Zach Smith situation is potentially out the door. So, I'm just giving it two Harbaugh heads. I don't have, an, I don't have a, uh, an inkling on what is going to happen here with Zach Smith. We're all going to find out on December 19th, National Sign Day. And that is the final word, potentially. I'm not sure if we can get any more information, though, on Zach Smith before December 19th. I am James Yoder, the face of Michigan football media. Let's keep the Michigan football fan rumors going. 
Going to dig into some Michigan football uh, player and uh, maybe some transfer rumors that people tossed my way. Want to you know let find out what you guys are hearing out there in the Michigan football team. Reach out to my sources. Figure out if there's any validity to the rumors you guys are hearing. So let's dig in to rumor number one on the Michigan football team. This is from Frog at Frog uh, Gander. Is that how you pronounce that? Frog Gander. That's a pretty cool name. Miles Sims, the Green Brothers from the state of Texas are transferring after this year. Heard that from a blog poster who claims to have a source or two. Well, hey, blog posters with sources are some of the most reputable people on the internet. But in this situation, I'm not buying this one. We have one hardball head that all three of these guys are transferring. And why? Well, I think they've all got a really good chance of playing next year. And Miles Sims might have a really good chance of playing a lot and not burning his red shirt in the bowl game. So I know they're out of town. You know, they're out of state guys. The Green Twins, uh, three-star cornerback, three-star safety from uh, the Texas, and of course Miles Sims, Spider, as they call him. He was committed to Michigan forever. We all know his uh, his high school teammate uh, spurned uh, Michigan. Or no, I'm sorry, I, I take that back. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, Aubrey Salmon. But nevertheless, um, from Georgia, I don't think they're going to transfer and not be able to play college football to the third year with the opportunity they have in front of them to play a ton in 2019. So I'm only giving this one hardball head, but hey, Frog, if you want to DM me, tell me anything more you're hearing, I'll keep looking into it. But from what I put the word out, uh, I heard there's not a ton of validity that Sims is prepping for the bowl game like he's going to get a lot of snaps. So we'll see what happens with this one. Next Michigan football rumor, this guy Drew Norris, D Norris at Drew Norris 11, saying there is a locker room rift between the coaches and players. Some of this is why more players will sit out the bowl game. And so we're filming this Wednesday night. You're probably watching it on Friday or Saturday as we are releasing these, you know, daily, these segments from Michigan football uh, fan rumors. And <laughs> there's some validity to this. Look, two Harbaugh heads. I know for a fact Jim Harbaugh, who loves football players, who loves guys who want to play football, is not going to be a fan with five, six starters of his sitting out at the bowl game with multiple players uh, thinking of transferring and getting kicked off the team. So I don't think it's as... Uh, it's as um, you know, lovely of an environment in the Michigan football locker room as they might want you to think these days. So there's certainly some belief to this. Give it two Harbaugh heads. Don't have any exact examples. But you know, I've been told things that like a bunch of freshmen upset about playing time, losing out playing time to older guys who weren't as good, things like that. Uh, heard them things on Tariq Black. We're not really going to talk about that one too much this week as I don't have a ton of information, but I've gotten a lot of people asking me about Tariq Black, even Aubrey Solomon, guys who were starters that they may be looking to transfer because you know they lost their starting spot. Tariq Black was you know sitting when Jake McCurry, a walk-on, was getting snapped for Ohio State. I don't really get that one. Uh, Aubrey Solomon got injured, didn't really retain his starting spot uh, when he came back, lost, it out, lost that one out to Carlo Kemp and, and other guys. So that is too hard by head. Certainly uh, with any large organization, you have different priorities. So keep an eye out for this one. Could be a lot of more you know, transfers this offseason than we would normally expect from the Michigan football team at coming after a, a ton of transfers over the last year, early 2018, late 2017. So that is the word from D Norris, Drew Norris 11 on Twitter. Reminder to you guys, if you saw the last few versions of these Michigan football fan rumors, then you would have seen this promo is the best promo we have ever offered. The free Michigan gear for the holidays, Chat Sports, Bet DSI, hooking you up to bet on sports and give you some Michigan football gear, chatsports.com slash bet. Santa Claus, Jimmy, Uncle Jimmy, Promo code go blue. I went and fought for this promo for you guys. They weren't trying to give it to us, but sign up and deposit with BetDSI. DM me on Twitter, and you will not only get one of those jerseys or the Michigan football maize and blue black and baseball style shirt, you also get a 120% deposit bonus if you use that promo code go blue. Chatsports.com slash bet. If you're watching on YouTube, I know you Facebook people uh, watching as well. Watching on YouTube, scroll down. You can click the link right there. Click me on Twitter to DM me. Facebook, I'm going to put it in the comment section so there will be no messing up. Make sure no space in that go blue. Sign up for deposit. DM me on Twitter. We will send you the Michigan football jersey or baseball shirt, and you'll get that 120% deposit bonus. Hooking you up this holiday season, Chat Sports and Bet DSI. Travis Britsko says Brandon Peters would strongly consider transferring next year, and this is one with a lot of validity to 
to this one. Got to give this one, we'll give this one three Harbaugh heads on this one left. Three Harbaugh heads. I haven't, you know, I'd try to lean towards four Harbaugh heads on this one, but, you know, I wouldn't do that until I've got to confirm, like, hey, this is the date he's going to announce it. This is where he's going to go. Don't we have that information uh, yet on Brandon Peters? But this is what I do know is that he is graduating uh, in three years. So he will have the opportunity to leave Michigan after this school year and go play anywhere he wants uh, next season and have two years of eligibility. We all remember he enrolled early in the 2016 class, came January of 2016. <laughs> and so he's been on Michigan's campus for three, you know, three years. By the time spring comes down, three and a half years with four summers mixed in there, summer 16, 17, 18, I guess three summers. Uh, that's a lot of schooling. He will graduate and be a two-year grad transfer, kind of like Joe Burrow's down at LSU and start for two years. Look at Brandon Peters. Could he be a, uh, a Big Ten quarterback? Indiana, Purdue, I don't know, Minnesota. You never know. He is an Indiana kid. So that is the word on Brandon Peters. I don't think he'll be a member of this Michigan football team next year. Want to ask you guys this question, piggybacking on that. It's not going to be Brandon Peters, but who will be Michigan's starting quarterback in 2019? For those of you watching on the new Michigan Football Report YouTube channel, comment below. Let's get this community fired up on the Michigan Wolverines by Chat Sports Facebook page. Comment below. Who's going to be Michigan starting quarterback in 2019? Shea Patterson returning for a second year? Dylan McCaffrey if Shea leaves, or could he beat him out? Joe Milton looked pretty good in a couple plays against Ohio State. Heck, maybe the young gun, Cade McNamara, could come in and uh, and put an end to all of those guys' quarterbacks' careers at Michigan. Comment below, Michigan starting quarterback 2019. Brian Monig, at Brian, M-O-N-N-I-G, on Twitter, asked me, is there any news about Michigan and a possible new offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah, we're getting this starting to heat up, baby, this offensive coordinator news. I told you on Wednesday that Harbaugh is listening, is, 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 is you know asking around with people, former colleagues of his, who I should look at if I want to make a move. Uh, Jim McElwain already gone. Could Pep Hamilton be on the move, taking a head coaching job or maybe a lower level school, potentially a group of five school? You never know. Jed Fish. Kale Gundy, Mike Yurchich, Brian Wright from Toledo, and Shane Waldron. And you see two Rams uh, coaches involved in their passing game there. Jed Fish, Michigan's passing game coordinator in 15 and 16. I actually think that's the top candidate, and I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that Jim Harbaugh would try and reconcile what we were told was a fractured relationship to try and get Fish in that Rams passing game and I guess really running game up to Ann Arbor. Some other lesser likely names to consider, Kendall Bryles, DOC at Houston, Charlie Weiss Jr., the 25-year-old uh, you know, young gunner at, uh, at FAU with Lane Kiffin, Larry Fedora, Mike Johnson, wide receivers coach at Oregon, and Tavita Pritchard, the 30-year-old offensive coordinator at Stanford, played quarterback there under Jim Harbaugh. So those are the options for Jim Harbaugh. I believe the top 10 options if he goes out and gets an offensive coordinator outside of the current Michigan football staff. YouTube, you're watching right now. Do me a favor, we're at 500 subscribers, brand new channel, just put a few highlights up, some random stuff. Now we're gonna get this bad boy going. Scroll down, hit subscribe, so every time you hit YouTube, you will know when the Michigan Football Report has new content. This show here is exclusively on YouTube on the Michigan Football Report page, channel. We are not putting it on main chat sports, so this is our first jump into exclusive content. And so I'm putting a lot more stuff on here. If you're watching on YouTube, I watched it on Facebook Live. There's the URL. It'll drop you right onto the channel on YouTube. It's a redirect. We make it easy for you. Chatsports.com slash Michigan TV. Drop you onto YouTube. Press subscribe. Once we get to 1,000, you're going to see a lot of things change when it comes to this YouTube channel. Ben Purcell at Purcell Ben. I guess we got that uh, at symbol uh, reversed, or maybe he's uh, from, from the future where the at symbols are after the, the usernames. I don't know if uh, it would happen there. Kind of a funny thing, but nevertheless, will Michigan hire Jed Fish. You see, for you guys, we're stacking these questions together. As you can see, a lot of people hear the same rumors. They're hanging out on the same message boards. They're hanging out on Reddit, Facebook groups. As one guy said, the water cooler at work. So uh, Ben Purcell, will Michigan hire Jed Fish? I'm giving it one Harbaugh head, right? Like, I, I don't know because I was told there was some, some beef when he was there in 15, 16, that him and Tim Drevno didn't see eye to eye, that that was the reason he pursued the, the UCLA job, even though Jim Mora, uh, you know, UCLA OC job, even though Jim Mora was on the hot seat and it was only a one year thing. But Tim Drevno's not here anymore. Tim Drevno was not the offensive coordinator. Could Jim Harbaugh, you know, re you know uh, uh, re rehabilitate that relationship, get Jed Fish, who's learned from the best in the game, 
Sean McVay there with the Rams this season. I don't know. I'm giving one Harbaugh ahead because of what I've heard in the past, but if Jim Harbaugh brings in Jed Fish, I think it's a really nice step in the right direction. All right, another rumor coming up here from Jeff Schufelt at, on Twitter, at, at Jeff underscore Schufelt. He is going to, I'm not sure if this is much of a rumor as much of it is uh, a rant here uh, on Twitter. He's basically saying, rumor has it, we are back to the Lloyd Carr uh, days where we'll win 8 to 11 games a year and be 500 with OSU. I guess if we're lucky, Lloyd Carr ended on a four-game losing streak after dominating Mich Ohio State early in his career as Michigan's head coach. What, co uh, what can coach do, Coach Ben Jim Harbaugh, to be a, a not a normal Michigan team and play for the national championship every year, year after year? Well... I think it just really comes down to two things. I think it comes down to higher level recruiting, not, uh, you know, Michigan's done very well, but they're a couple players away from, you know, Isaiah Wilson, the five-star offensive lineman, top 10 player a couple years ago. Could he be making an impact with Michigan uh, this year? A linebacker, uh, Otis Reese last year, could he be making an impact this year, next year? There's a, it seems like every year Michigan's one or two players, the top 25, top 50 players, those instant impact players, the Rashawn Gary types, uh, the Shea Harrison types that they miss out on to another school. You start getting those guys, you start getting those players to come to Michigan, start ending up with more top five classes than number eight, nine, 10, 12. I think you have the opportunity to you know, compete for national championships and you've got to have a modern offensive attack. The offensive attack Michigan has will not win a Big Ten or national title uh, unless something drastically changes with the rules of college football. But think about next year, think about the 2019 season, Ohio State might lose a lot of players. Michigan will lose lot, going to lose a lot of players. New head coach there at Ohio State. Will Michigan beat Ohio State in 2019? We're going to keep it really simple for this new Michigan football report YouTube committee. Type Y for yes. We're going to beat them. Type N for no. The streak, the losing streak will continue. If you're watching on Facebook or my Twitter, just respond as well. Yes or no below in the comment. I want to know how you guys feel about the future of Michigan football. Will they beat Ohio State in 2019? Type Y for yes and type N for no. Hi, I'm James Yoder, the face of Michigan football media. You are watching the Michigan football report by Chat Sports. It is our new segment, Michigan football fan rumors. Earlier in the week, we've brought out to you our Dax Hill rumor roundup, our Zach Harrison rumor roundup. We also got the Michigan football coaching and transfer rumor fan rumor roundup we talked about. Now, let's get a little more on the recruiting side. See what things are going. I was recruiting and we're going to talk about a potential transfer that a lot of people seem to be talking about right now. Terry Trevino at 3T underscore Terry says, Trevor Keegan committing uh, Friday. Trevor Keegan liked my comment on his top three commitment post. Could be nothing, but didn't like any of the Georgia fans or Penn State fans you know, commenting on his post. So this guy, Terry Trevino, has basically said, hey, Keegan tweeted out when he's announcing Friday 6.30 uh, between Michigan, Georgia, Penn State. Didn't like any of the Georgia or the Penn State fans uh, giving him love. Liked this guy's tweet of a uh, little Michigan love. If you see here on screen, you've got the big house there. And you see in red, one Trevor Keegan, one of two people to like that post. So if this is true, you have to go check it out. Uh, I did, looks like it is legit though. Terry Trevino, I didn't really check into all the likes uh, to see if Keegan didn't like any of the other ones. But two Harbaugh heads in this one. I've told you, Keegan is drastically trending towards Michigan. Totally is gonna end up there. We will see for sure on Friday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. From Caden Goodrow, we have this Michigan football fan rumors. He said, have you heard of the rumor of Michigan being on commitment, commitment watch, for two recruits. Well, yeah, I mean, if everything I listen to from, from uh, all you guys is true, that means Michigan was supposed to have like two recruits commit the last two weekends. Uh, the blog boys and the, the message board uh, insiders were, were claiming the last two Saturdays Michigan was getting commitment, but of course they came and go. Uh, they'll get a pass, of course. If I ever did that and didn't happen, I would get absolutely roasted. Nevertheless, that's why we're on top and they can only wish to be as successful as the Michigan football report. But, but, Friday, yes. <laughs> now, I asked this question on Wednesday. So, you know, commitment watch, what does that mean? But Friday for sure, uh, Keegan, uh, Trevor Keegan, offensive lineman uh, from the state of Illinois, will be coming to Michigan from what I've been told. But signing day is only a few days away. So if you're a 24-7 if you're a or a Rivals or one of these blog boys, and you basically, for the month up to signing day, you keep saying, on commitment watch, you're just going to eventually get it right because you're going to run into signing day when you know, all the guys have the last chance to commit. So... 
Three hour by heads, but not because the blog boys know anything. It's just because signing day is around the corner. You've only got you know less than a week until it is pinned to paper for Michigan 2019 class. You're watching on YouTube. This is a new channel. Like, what channel is this? Michigan Football Report. I'm used to watching this show on Chat Sports on YouTube. Yes, that is right. We are building this channel up at 500 subscribers now. Let's get to 1,000 and then is to the top from there. Chat Sports is sitting at 75, 80,000 followers. We're going to build our own channel. You and me, we're going to do it together. Subscribe now if you're watching on Facebook or my Twitter account. Take a pause. I'm just going to wait 10 seconds. Go type that link, chatsports.com slash Michigan TV. I'm waiting. Come on. Let's go. All right, we're good. Yeah, maybe it was only six seconds. Okay, whatever it was, you've had the time. You've got it. Screenshot your phone right now if you can't get it. Chatsports.com slash Michigan TV. If you are not watching on YouTube, if you are, hit that subscribe button and you will not regret it. We'll start putting all of our content here once we get 1,000. And then from there, it is to the moon for the Michigan Football Report channel on YouTube. My main, main man, Hyperion Capital. It's a, it's a, I don't know if that's his first name or his company name. Assuming company, but goes by underscore prosperitas underscore uh, i don't think Tariq black will be back if he isn't featured a lot in this bowl game and look i've had blinders on when it comes to Tariq black but this is one of many people who have asked me in the past few days and things i've seen on Tariq black i just didn't even cross my mind he's best buds with diamond people's jones his mom travels all the game he's been hurt two straight years but he wanted to transfer and then he's four years into his college career before he gets in the field that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense so uh, my man, Hyperion Capital, I'm going to give it one Harbaugh head, but I don't. this is not a discredit to you on this one. I just can't imagine that Treek Black would want to uh, to transfer, you know, with uh, with so much, you know, big things come uh, coming in front of him in his Michigan football career. So I'm going to one Harbaugh head. Treek Black was passed up by, you know, Jake McCurry got some snaps against Ohio State and some other games. So don't shut this one down that Treek Black might transfer. Could he transfer? I'll ask you guys who will be Michigan's leading wide receiver in 2019. Three guys, uh, pretty much of the same stats: Nico Collins, Donovan Peoples-Jones, uh, and Zach Gentry. Two wide receivers and a tight end, tight end. Treat Black come back. A lot of tight. You know, all the tight ends will be back next year. You've got Ronnie Bell uh, emerging. Oliver Martin emerging. Could it be a new face? Could Treat Black retain that number one spot if he doesn't transfer? Like Hyperion uh, threw it out there. So comment below on Michigan Football Report YouTube, Michigan Wolverines by Chat Sports Facebook Live, and watching on at James T Yoder on twitter let's get to my man kevin ritter at kevin ritter 16. he says james do you plan on attending the game in atlanta it's a big time rumor out there that i'm i'm uh, planning on attending the game i'm going to go on the record just like jim harbaugh with his nfl rumors it is a uh, it must be some sort of systematic and choreographed effort to discredit or, uh, or or get the audience lower on the michigan football report the blog boys telling you i'll be there so we're not be doing shows here at the uh, Shem Beckler Chat Sports Studios. I'm not going to the game, and it's because I went to you know two away games, two home games this year, and frankly, this matchup just kind of sucks. It's the 29th, it's just not a good game to go to. I wouldn't spend my money on this one. Don't recommend you do either. Kevin, if you're going, enjoy, but you will not see me there. No matter what you hear out there on the internet, I will not be in Atlanta for the Michigan-Florida Bowl matchup, but you can have a great holiday Thanks to Chat Sports, the Michigan Football Report, and our partner, Bet DSI. Do you want a Michigan football jersey to rock this year in the next football season? Do you want a maize jersey? Do you want a blue jersey? You got the number one and the number four blue, or this awesome kind of wear it every day, Michigan football baseball style jersey, maize or shirt, maize and blue, big block M, Jordan logo underneath. You get one of those and you get 120% deposit bonus, chatsports.com slash bet. It's right there on your screen. Screenshot right now, watching it on Facebook, right there in comments from the page, watching my Twitter, I'm gonna put the link in bio. You're watching on YouTube, it'll be right there in the second paragraph below in the description, and it'll be one of the first comments below. So you can't miss it. Use promo code GOBLUE, no spacing, no auto-correcting, then I can make more work for me to look you up. Sign up for deposit, DM me on Twitter, and you will be hooked up. Last Michigan football fan rumor global sports party with the wildest rumor I've seen all year. Michigan Stadium is selling air rights to build permanent condos for those who want to live year around between the goalposts, but tickets to the game will cost extra. I don't even know what to make of this. What I mean, global sports party, I love your account. We engage a lot on Twitter, so appreciate the question, but air rights? 
permanent condos, so you're gonna live at the stadium, but you have to then pay for tickets to the game. I don't know how that works, and I think it's a little ridiculous to think about it, but that is the, the rumor out there from Global Sports Party. Get the Michigan Football Report on Apple Podcasts, chefsports.com slash Yoder. That is Michigan Football Fan Rumors. See you next week.